Originally we came to Stony Brook because we found out that we were having triplets. Lila needed to be on an oscillator type ventilator. That would be the only way she could survive. At 28 weeks, five days, the doctor was doing our sonogram and 20 minutes later, I was having an emergency C-section. I would say that my birth with Gwendolyn didn't go as planned, but it was still really amazing. They talked to me about everything, and I was still very much a part of all the decisions, and it, it was really nice. I chose to have my baby at Stony Brook because of their midwifery practice. So I've had all three children here, two of them with complications. One not as severe as the first. He spent five days in NICU. The second one was a little more. He spent 125 days in NICU, where we met lots of doctors, lots of surgeons, and a lot of the NICU staff. They were not only very respectful and accommodating to my family, but very respectful and accommodating to my son. They treated him like he was one of their own. And that made me feel, I'm gonna cry. As a mom and having to leave my son here, it felt so reassuring to know that someone was looking after him when I couldn't be here. I chose to deliver eight of my children here because they don't rush you, they're there for everything, they're very easy to contact, and I just love them. We received news that Joseph was going to have to have surgery. A week later they had to do a second surgery, so he survived two high-risk surgeries. We're one big healthy family today. I usually share my story um, with families to give them a little bit of um, hope because I was once a NICU baby and now I'm a NICU nurse. In 1992, I gave birth to 29-week quadruplets, 11 weeks premature, and they needed expert care. I'm very proud to say that today, these are my quadruplets, graduates of college. The thing that was most important to me is that I feel like society lost its faith in women in the natural process of giving birth. And these midwives, just they just believe in it. It's written all over their face. It's written in what they do. They believe in the natural process of birth. Connor came right on my chest, and I was holding him, and they let me stay with him for as long as I could. And that bonding to me was very important. I chose Stony Brook because I wanted to have a vaginal birth after a cesarean section. They were able to work with me, and they made my dream come true. <laughs> because of Stony Brook and the doctors and everybody, we got our two little bundles of joy. And as a practitioner, I get emotional when my patients come back to visit me because I know how sick they were. And when they come back to visit, it gives us such joy inside. Stony Brook really was our only answer. We want to congratulate Stony Brook for 100,000 births. That's pretty phenomenal. Congratulations, Stony Brook. Congratulations, Stony Brook, on your 100,000th delivery. And I hope it keeps going. <laughs> Congratulations, Stony Brook, on your 100,000th baby! Congratulations, Stony Brook!